Hello and welcome to Japanese craft beer reviews. Uh, today we will look at uh, a beer that is, uh, or a series of beers, two beers from a brewery that is in Belgium, and that is Hogarden. And this is a brewery. I'm going to go through the history of it real briefly uh, uh, before we get to the beer. Uh, we're going to look at two of their beers. Uh, the first one is their regular uh, wheat beer. And, or with beer, and the second is a variant of that. It's called rosé, uh, made with raspberries. Uh, Whole Garden uh, has a very long history. Um, the area uh, where it's located in uh, Brabant, which is uh, east of Brussels, has records of brewing in the area from the uh, 1400s. Um, and uh, apparently in the 19th century there were actually 13 breweries in the village uh, there, uh, Ho Garden. And, uh, but over time, uh, as taste changed, uh, in 1957 the very last one closed and a young man who was actually in the milk delivery business named Pierre Selis, uh, uh, who also uh, knew the brewery and apparently had some experience working there part-time or uh, learned a little bit about it, uh, decided uh, that he was going to revive the style. Uh, and in 1966, he did. Um, he bought uh, a facility and started brewing there. Uh, and, uh, and he later moved to, to the U.S. There was a series of uh, kind of influence from uh, what was called uh, Interbrew, uh, which kind of helped him out for a while, but apparently had a little bit too much influence, and uh, they apparently bought in and and were changing things more than he liked. So he uh, sold out to uh, the uh, group which uh, Ambev, which later became part of uh, AB InBev, uh, Interbrew. In 1989, he sold to Interbrew. And he moved to Austin, Texas, uh, and began brewing his own beer again. And uh, that beer, that brewery was also bought out by Miller. Um, and Miller apparently has now sold the, uh, or sold the uh, equipment to a brewery in Michigan. And so, and Celis is also selling his beer, his American wit beer, back to Belgium as a kind of Texan beer. So very, very complicated. And you know, there's a very complex series of buyouts uh, uh, and closures uh, that involved uh, Interbrew, Ambev, and later AB InBev. And I'm not going to go into the details. I'm sure you don't want me to. Um, and so the origin is in this area east of Brussels, which was uh, settled by uh, Celts. Uh, and uh, Belgium was not created until was it 1830 and uh, uh, and so it was part of the Netherlands at that point and um, and and Netherlands of course had colonized some islands in uh, the Caribbean and including Curacao which gave them the oranges for their and dried orange peel which is an ingredient in this and also some spices uh, things like coriander and cumin and so um, the, uh, it's kind of funny, uh, what was it? De Gaulle said in, uh, De Gaulle said that the uh, London Conference in 1830 created Belgium just to annoy the French. <laughs> so, um, and I'm sure Belgians don't like to hear that uh, kind of a complex relationship between Belgium, France, and England. Uh, and ultimately, ABM. Imbev decided, oh, after all their moves and buyouts and this and that, to keep on brewing in Hogarden. And their main beer, this wheat beer, uh, we're going to look at next. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about it in more detail. So the wheat beer is the main one, and I have to say it's probably uh, one of the most popular beers in the world, actually. Uh, certainly in Japan, uh, it's probably the most popular Japanese beer. So uh, Hogarden also makes uh, rosé with uh, 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 raspberries and Citro, uh, their Grand Cru is quite famous. Uh, they make something called Julius, which is a high alcohol beer, 
Forbidden Fruit. Uh, you may have seen this one with a picture of Adam and Eve on the, on the, on the uh, label. Uh, das, and then uh, Special. Uh, uh, so a variety of beers, uh, some very interesting and some not. Well, let's take a look at the first one next. All right, bye-bye. Okay, and now let's take a look at the first beer from Ho Garden, and it is this one. Uh, if you are have spent any time in beer bars, you probably have seen this on the menu, uh, and uh, it's quite popular. Uh, I think in Japan, it's probably the most popular Belgian beer. Uh, so this is a very light, light beer, uh, which uh, includes uh, unmalted wheat and coriander and dried curacao orange peel. And the original, the original recipe uh, uh, developed by uh, Celis also included uh, cumin in it, and I don't believe that's an ingredient anymore. Uh, so this is quite a popular beer, and we'll take a look at it. So uh, this beer has, on Rate Beer, it has uh, uh, 7,000 ratings and an average score of 3.62. Uh, the style is a wit beer or Belgian white ale and so an average of 3.62 83% for uh, all beers on rate beer and 98 for its style which is wit beer um, and on untapped it's got uh, 357,000 readings uh, an average of 3.57 so pretty pretty high uh, so this is considered the classic uh, wit beer. It may not be the best one, but uh, one writer said what uh, what Guinness is to Irish stout, uh, Hogarden is to wit beer. Okay, let's look at this one. Okay, we will open this one up now and give it a go. This is a, you know, kind of a special style uh, uh, with the unmalted wheat and the spices in it. Uh, so it's quite different from a lot of beers. Uh, and you can see it's cloudy, sort of cloudy pastel yellow with a finger of uh, nice, nice spongy white head. And you can see the carbonation is really roaring here. And put it through the light see how this pastel just sort of disappears in the light and the carbonation is really something. All right, and aroma. We have a, of course, a gentle wheaty, wheaty bit with some banana, light lemon, certain spice. Don't really get it as coriander but perhaps in the flavor, yes. Okay, very mild, tangy fruit. Very light hop. Uh, it's got 15 international bittering units, uh, and the orange peel is quite detectable. A kind of tangy bit in the mid palate and then a bitter bite and a coating of sweetness on the tongue. This is very smooth, uh, very fruity. Uh, it's very light and kind of a gentle beer, uh, and including it's, it's lighter and, and easier than many other wheat beers, I think. Uh, this is owned, again owned by uh, AB InBev, and you can be sure that they've probably focused this one to death uh, to find out what will appeal to the widest number of people, uh, which we can also say is lowest common denominator, and uh, probably makes the least appear appealing beer for you know beer aficionados, and uh, but probably will make it sell the most. This is a very popular beer. Again, it's probably the most popular Belgian beer in uh, Japan, where I live. Okay, well, that's it for now. Uh, once again, Hoogarden, uh, and this is their 
flagship Whit beer, uh, 4.9%, 15 IBUs. Uh, you may have already tried this. If not, you probably should, uh, as it's considered the, the classic in its style. It's probably not the best, but it certainly is the most widely available one. Okay, that's it for now. Bye-bye.